All right, our half resolution render is done. I opened up another panel, let's switch to compositor, and we have the uh, input layer right there and output right here, composite. So uh, first of all, let me choose the uh, search for the viewer node right here. And with not Wrangler, we can use the Ctrl Shift left click to viewer node. And let's switch to viewer. Yeah, that's right. Let me get rid of the composite for now. So. First thing we need to do is actually blur the base of smaller crumbs. So I'm going to blur them together to kind of make the illusion uh, of they are kind of a um, single mesh, maybe. So right now they are kind of um, separated from each other. And to do that, I'm going to use a combination of occlusion and a cryptomate based on materials. We have actually, if I choose a shrimp, we have a material of body, small, medium, and large. So, uh, and also, if you remember, we check the material and object from cryptomate. So, first of all, let's go and Use a cryptomate right there, change it to material, and sample the small. As you see, right here, if I uh, hover over the materials, the tooltip will change. So choose the small material. If I hit uh, Ctrl Shift and left click, you see, this is the mask, not that, this one the met output of the mate so right there we have the occlusion right here but we need to have a color ramp in order to actually make it a little bit tighter for masking i need an inverted mask so let's actually reverse the order maybe maybe kind of over here so right now we actually targeted the base of the occlusion but we have a lot of data right here from tail from plate and other stuff so to mask that with the uh, cryptomate i'm going to use a uh, mix rgb so connect the occlusion right there and Connect the output of the mask. Let's see. Ctrl Shift left click. This is the result right now. If I change it to uh, multiply, you see, we have the occlusion only on those areas. All right. This is our blur mask. So add another color mix. Choose the original color for base color. And we're going to com uh, combine that with a, a blurred version for, from this mask. So connect this mask to the factor. All right. And to the second color, let's go ahead and search for uh, blur. All right. And uh, change the blur to something cheap, the flat. It's not that expensive. So. This is um, the actual uh, Y and X blur um, direction. So I'm going to uh, hit 5 for this. All right. Use the uh, image from render and maybe 0 0.5 for power. Yeah, that's it. So now connect this one to the image. Let's hit Ctrl Shift left click on the blur. And this is the result. You might change this after full resolution render. So, Ctrl Shift and left click on the mix. And if I zoom really close, 
You see, the base are kind of mushed together. So that's our blur right there. From now on, this is our render. On top of this, after blur, it's important, after blur, I'm going to combine the actual ambient occlusion and multiply it on top of the render. So we have the ambient occlusion to the uh, color ramp right there. So Ctrl Shift D with the connection, duplicate it. Another mix color right there. Connect this one to the A. And this one actually derives the intensity of multiplied color. So you can go really high down and yeah so now for this AO I'm gonna go from all the way left to around here so let's see that this is the result of ambient occlusion right there make it ease to ease the blend alrighty now connect this to factor let's see the result Control shift and left click all right change the blending mode to multiply and if I hit M on top of this so M mute you see a little bit darker in some places so we save the project and crank this up right there now you really see the result so let's go back maybe around here yeah that seems to be good right so let me show you the actual hex this is the hex color all right now this is the output render all right now i wanted to add a little bit of um, darkness or actually um, a little bit of color on top of the big crumbs to do that i need another crypto make to actually target that and let's choose material again and plus large right there to combine that with the previous color you know mix color needed so connect that connect the output to the factor right there and i'm going to choose a soft light all right and uh, did that previously so let's sample a color right there and let's see with and without by hitting m you see a little bit of color on top so this is the mask actually now this is the mask all right and this is the result m mute and unmute all right let's move this crypto mate up here should it collapse it now the uh, body i wanted that to have a little bit of yellow on top kind of so again another mix color needed with another uh, crypto mate so Go ahead, material. This time, choose body. Factor to the factor right there. And actually, let's go up. So, this one is the first color, A color. And I'm going to sample the color from other screen. This is the color. again with soft light and let's see the result that's the result for you so hit m without and with now let's go ahead and uh maybe make some of these shrimps objects actually uh a little bit darker to have a contrast going on so again another crypto right there this time Keep it an object you can actually um, choose multiple object or material so let's go ahead and this uh, one and this one so 
this stream with this stream except for tails. So that's good. Again, another mix RGB, color A and factor. Sample the color again. Again, soft light. See the result, control shift, left click. And M, M. So we see those actually are a little bit darker than others. So let's add another color on top of that. Another mix RGB goes to the back. Another crypto. This time, just uh, select this shrimp. And that's our mask. Goes there. Again, soft light. And this time, a darker color. And this is the hex. Ctrl Shift and left click. M. That one is a bit darker. And burned, actually. So, we are pretty much done with the coloring. Now it's time to add the illusion of depth of field. If you wanted to add uh, the realistic or physical depth of field, kinda, you can go to the camera setting. All right. Enable depth of field and um, add a distance, if you know the distance to the focused area, or add a MT whatever empty object you um, it's easier for you and put it maybe in the middle of this shrimp right here or if you want to uh, focus to be out there put it back there so choose that and uh, play with f stop so that's the physical focus but the fake focus though you can use this uh, z data this depth data First of all, we need a normalizer to actually see the data. So let me, uh, to show you there, let me add a color ramp, connect the depth to that, and let's go control shift left click. This is the data. It goes past the one, so you can't see anything. Show you only the uh, white data or white color. So. To change that, let's go and uh, search for normalize, put it between, and this is your actual Z data. Grab these two, we need them both. Go here and save. And with this uh, slider, you can actually change the uh, focus. So switch. Put the white in front. Yep. So the uh, black area is actually are actually out of focus. Give it ease. And something maybe like this. All right. To add the actual depth of field, let's go for the focus right there. All right, and use the buffer. And in this case, I'm going to use maybe hexagon. All right, we need the image to input. So, you know, this is our image from now. So grab this image, connect it there, and this is our Z data. Now, let's see the result. And as you can see, those are out of focus, but it's it's too much so let's go ahead back to eight maybe six yeah kind of if you have still um do have the focusing going on right here choose this threshold to push the focus back down right there so that's our focus going on and uh let's uh, check the gamma correction you see the uh, hexagons are visible right now. Without that, yeah, it'd be a little bit of issue down there. So that's good. That's good. So 
Before that, though, if you want to, you can add a uh, lens distortion. Go ahead and hit Control Shift Left click on this. Connect this one to image. All right, and add a bit distortion or aberration right there. So maybe 0.01, just a bit right there. Maybe a, bit, a little bit more, 0.02, good. After that, connect this one to the, the focus node. All right, job done. Now, the only thing left is to re-render or render this scene again with full uh, resolution. So put the 100% right here in the output. And let's check one more time, 1000 the noise and yep pretty much it so uh let's go and hit render again after save i forget to add composite node and render the scene one more time so i'll be back with the final result and that's done i actually added uh, five in the threshold because the front still was out of uh, focus uh, pretty much so that's the result for you i went and made another dish with different order and a circular um, plate as you see right here and uh, yeah that's it that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this course and i wish you good luck